In this video, I will talk about how to check whether your motherboard supports Gen 4 SSDs or not. The short and simple answer to this query is a yes. Gen 4 SSDs will work on almost any motherboard, as long as it has an M.2 slot capable of supporting NVMe SSDs. However, and this is important, to get the full potential of the Gen 4 SSD, you need to insert it into a relevant Gen 4 M.2 slot on your motherboard. Inserting it to an older generation M.2 slot will result in significant performance loss. Basically, Gen 4 SSDs are designed for the PCIe version 4 motherboards. To understand whether they will work on your particular motherboard or not, you will need to briefly understand how the backwards and forward compatibility of the PCIe interface works. So, as mentioned, Gen 4 SSDs use the PCIe interface. And as such, the M.2 slots that they go into are connected to PCIe lanes. PCIe lanes are like information highways that are used by PCIe devices like Gen 4 SSDs for transferring data. A PC has a limited number of PCIe lanes and an M.2 slot, where the Gen 4 SSDs plug into, typically connect to four PCIe lanes. The speed of each lane varies depending upon the version it belongs to, so much so that with every generation, the per lane PCIe speed doubles. This is best explained using the table here on Wikipedia. You can see the different versions and their corresponding PCIe lane speeds. You can see here that a PCIe version 3 per lane or a X1 speed is 0.985 gigabytes a second. Four lanes or X4 lanes conforming to PCIe version 3 would translate to 3.938 gigabytes a second. Again, M.2 slots 4 or X4 lanes. Looking at the PCIe version 4 speeds in this table, we can see that the X4 lanes conforming to this version have speeds of 7.877 gigabytes a second. So, a Gen 4 M.2 slot would be twice as fast as the M.2 slot conforming to the older 3.0 version. Now, PCIe interface is backwards and forwards compatible, meaning that if you were to plug in a Gen 4 SSD like the Samsung 980 Pro into an M.2 slot conforming to PCIe 3.0, then the Gen 4 SSD will work. However, its speed will be reduced by almost half its maximum potential due to the per lane speeds difference we talked about earlier. To check if your motherboard supports Gen 4 SSDs or not, you will need to look into its technical spec sheet. To do that, you will first need to figure out the make and model of your motherboard. You can do that by going to the system information utility. Simply type system information in the window search bar, select the utility from the search results, and look for the fields labeled as baseboard manufacturer and baseboard product. I am on a laptop, so the motherboard model shown here isn't too clear. Let us assume if Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus were my motherboard. If I head over to its official technical data sheet, I can find the information I need under the storage section. This should tell me how many M.2 slots the motherboard has and whether they support Gen 4 SSDs or not. So, this motherboard for instance has two M.2 slots. One connects to the PCIe lanes of the CPU and the other connects to the PCIe lanes of the motherboard chipset itself. The chipset connected M.2 slot conforms to the PCIe version 3, and hence a Gen 4 SSD, if inserted into this slot, will work at the speeds of a PCIe version 3, and lose almost half its performance. This slot is thus not recommended for Gen 4 SSDs, albeit the SSDs will still work. The second slot is a bit interesting. The slot does conform to PCIe version 4, if the CPU we install is from AMD Ryzen 5000 or 3000 series. Hence, this would be ideal for Gen 4 SSDs. However, if your CPU is from the 5000G, 4000G or from the AMD Ryzen 2000 or older series, then the same slot will conform only to PCIe version 3 and again, your Gen 4 SSD will work at reduced speeds. So, the choice of the CPU also matters for Gen 4 SSDs to work at their maximum potential. It is also worth mentioning that, due to the forwards compatibility of the PCIe interface, Gen 3 SSDs can also work on PCIe version 4 M.2 slots, but they will not get any performance boost. And finally, the same motherboard can have M.2 slots conforming to different versions. 
Hence, the slot of the M.2 also matters. I hope you learned something of value from this tutorial. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.